So why bother with black and white infrared photography? Well, I'll tell you why. Days like this, when you've got crystal clear blue skies, harsh light everywhere, shadows. Oh, it just it just doesn't make you want to take photographs on a day like this, really. Days like this, you want to get up early doors, get a sunrise, dawn light, that sort of thing. Or you wait for the evening till the light gets softer, the light gets lower, and uh, then you can make some nice photographs. Height of the day, phew, it's hard work, it really is. So black and white infrared photography that's when it comes into its own you can make some absolutely stellar graphic photography so i'm going to head out on the push bike i'm going to take two cameras the leica q2 we're going to find some subjects shoot some normal photography then i'm going to shoot the same subject with the incredible fujifilm x pro 2 and it's modified 850 nanometer black and white sensor and i'm going to compare the two side by side I'm gonna make a decision which I think is the best, and then if you wanna make a decision and, and let me know what you think is the best, stick it down below. But I'll tell you now, spoiler alert, <laughs> this is gonna win, hands down on a day like this, the infrared is gonna absolutely smash it out of the park, in my humble opinion. All right, let's get on the bike, see what we can find. That big pine tree, conifer, Norfolk pine, whatever it is. Let's start with the Leica Q2. We're gonna shoot these photographs all at the same aperture, which is gonna be F8. So we get a, a reasonable comparison. Let's see. That's the first shot with the Leica Q2. And eh, as expected, it's not really floating my boat. Let's try the X-Pro2. And I'll tell you what, already just looking on the back of the screen and looking through the viewfinder, huh, it transforms an ordinary scene into something quite, uh, quite special. Right, let's move on. Next shot, sea defences. All right, pretty boat standard. The light's not too bad. Now let's get the infrared. Straight away, honestly, love this camera on a day like this. Absolutely love it. Stunner. Let's move on, find another subject. But already, my point has been proven that infrared photography is built for days like this. What about that? Early season, early spring, so uh, not a lot of greenery on the tree there, but uh, might look quite nice. So on the face of it, this isn't the greatest subject in the world, it's just a shrub. Another little beach subject. This one is a big old stump. So uh, I reckon that's gonna make a nice photograph. Quite stark and quite beautiful. Right, let's get over here. Back onto the cycle track, get moving a little bit faster. Some pampas grass, locally known as toy toy. So uh, I think we're gonna, gonna make a nice shot of that. I think we'll get a little bit lower. Windswept water, blue sky, shrubs, some sort of shrubs in the water. Toy toy pampas in the foreground. Eh, doesn't look too great, really. Let's see what it looks like in infrared. How about something just as ordinary as this? A waterway.
trees on the river bank you're going to get the foliage standing out stark white and you're going to get the branches the trunks they're going to come out black then you'll have a nice black sky just to set it all off another couple of trees these look quite sizable they don't stand that nice so what I want to do is try and incorporate this fence post here so we get a low shot just to give it a little bit of balance and the same two trees as the last shot just a different angle All right, next shot. There. How about a tree-lined riverbank? I mean, how beautiful is that? This is a shot that I think could work better in colour on the Q2. I mean look at the colours in those leaves, real rustic browns. Alright, I think for demonstration purposes we've got enough photographs. I think I've proved my point that on days like this, I mean don't get me wrong, it's glorious, absolutely stunning, prefer this to winter hands down. For photography, general photography, it's not very inspiring really. Boring blue skies, I mean what can you do with them really? Until you dig out the infrared camera and then man it just transforms the, the ordinary everyday eh, photograph into an absolutely mind-blowing work of art. It really is in my opinion a whole new way of looking at things. At the end of the day it is just so much fun to get out on a day like this, as windy as it is, uh, <laughs> just on the push bike just looking around and you come up with photographs that in normal spectrum photography eh, nothing shots in IR so so much better all right hope you enjoyed this if you have give us a like subscribe a thumbs up all that sort of malarkey and we'll see you on a future episode thanks so much as ever for watching